Welcome back. Yes, that was me this morning. It was really cold out. It was about minus 27. So as you can see, um, the hot water I had in my cup there, it froze instantly um, and it met the air. So today I'm inside. I'm starting to think about camping, obviously. Starting to feel the sun warm up a little bit. And I want to make some jerky today. We're going to do it old school style in the oven. So let's get to it. Many of you asked how Royce is doing. He's doing just great. He had his hair cut yesterday. He's feeling pretty good. Doing really well. You going to help with the uh, jerky today? <laughs> he says he can't wait to go camping. Right? So jerky is really delicious. It's uh, made from lean cuts of meat. You don't want it to be too fatty or it's going to spoil. So it's a really high protein, low fat, nutritious snack that you can preserve and have on the trail or when you're doing your camping. So there's a few different cuts of meat um, that can work well. Uh, typically beef or wild game is preferred. Uh, today we're going to make uh, the jerky with a flank uh, steak, but you can also use skirt steak or uh, any of the, uh, you know, round, like eye round, top round. Uh, cuts of meat that should be fine as long as it's nice and lean you can use it for your uh, jerky making so I have my uh, flank steak in the freezer right now just for about half an hour just till it kind of starts to freeze just a little bit it's just gonna make it so much easier to cut and make the jerky I'm gonna season uh, my jerky and cure it using uh, the high mountain seasonings um, from Princess Auto so this is an awesome kit um, this one can cure quite a lot of meat obviously up to 15 pounds there and this is the cracked pepper and garlic so I won't eat much of this I've got the cure here and I've got the spices um, they have a nice little table here and the instructions of how much you should use for each we're probably gonna start um, that the uh, flank steak that I have is about you know a little over a pound so we'll use the one pound um, measurements there so it's one and a half teaspoons of the jerky and two teaspoons of the cure and in this kit comes with a nice little shaker so you can kind of mix it up in here and then put it on your spices oh i hear the dinging in the background i think our meat's ready well there's our beautiful cut of meat as you can see uh, a little over a pound um, not a whole lot of fat in there that's what we want and the grain on the steak it runs this way so we're going to kind of cut along here it just came out of the freezer in there about a half an hour uh, just to firm it up a little bit to make it easier to cut. Now when I cut this, I'm going to cut this into quarter inch strips. Uh, that's the best for drying. Uh, you can cut it into whatever shapes you want. Um, some people do them in one inch cubes for like, you know, nuggets. Um, I'm just going to cut them in quarter inch um, strips. And uh, just remember there will be some shrinkage when this dries up. I'm just going to use my knife here and kind of cut this up. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. You don't injure yourself. There you go. There's some nice slices there. I'm trying to stay really even throughout. I could have put this in the freezer for a little bit longer. But you see how it cuts along that nice grain there? So we're just going to do this for the whole steak. Try to keep it as even as you can. Where's his little snoot is coming up here. Look at that. Hey, keep out of there. <laughs> and you guys have dogs that are interested in these kinds of things. Mine is. Some people will also do turkey or goose or you know elk, whatever. Just something nice and lean. Any big fatty pieces, of course, you can trim those away. Just leads to, could spoil earlier on you. Well, doesn't that look good? So there are my slices. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up the jerky cure and seasoning in the proper ratio. Um, what I have to do is I wanna measure this first, just make sure this is exactly, um, you know, about a pound. Um, we just don't wanna mix the cure and the seasonings improperly or it won't work as well. All right, so it looks like we've got about a pound. So let's get to putting those spices on there. Alrighty, so I mixed uh, the appropriate amount of cure and uh, spices together in this little shaker that came in the kit, and uh, it smells really good. So next step, let's lay out our meat, and we're gonna pat it dry, and then start sprinkling this on one side, and then flip it over to the other side. Do this on chew trays here today. Okay, we're just going to pat this dry, like so, and then we just sort of sprinkle the cure and the spices. About half of it um, 
on this side of the meat and then we'll flip it over and do it in the other half. Okay, it looks good and it smells really good too. Now we'll flip over and we'll do the other side. Oh yeah, doesn't that look good? And it smells good too, everyone. It smells like garlic. I'm loving this. All right, now we'll put in a bowl, mix around a little bit, and then we'll put it in the fridge for 24 hours. It's Royce approved. Get all in there and mix it up so that all sides of the meat are covered with the cure and the spices. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I can't wait. You know, that should do it. So next you're gonna store this in a plastic bag, not metallic, so I've got my little um, food saver pouch here. I'm just gonna seal this, I don't have to vacuum seal it or anything. And uh, we'll put this in the fridge for 24 hours. This mixture is designed to penetrate quarter inch of meat every 24 hours. So we should be good to go. So you're gonna to wanna to save your cure and your spices for next time, make sure it's nice and airtight. So what I did was I used my little food saver there and I just made another seal. So we're good to go for next time. Store it in a nice, cool, dry place. So that's step one. We'll see you here in 24 hours through the magic of TV. Well, it is the next day through the magic of TV and I'm in the kitchen and we're gonna get the jerky out on um, trays and drying in the oven. Let's take a look. So I've uh, got this rack system here. This is um, again from Princess Auto. This is the Valley Sportsman jerky pan. It's got three racks and uh, so air can circulate uh, through different layers of meat. And what I've done is I've just put a little bit of um, oil uh, a little bit of cooking spray oil on uh, each of the racks. I don't know if we'll use all three of them, obviously, but um, you know, this this holds a good deal of meat. So we're going to start uh, layering them up on here. I'm just going to show you the meat's been curing over the last 24 hours and it looks pretty good. Can't wait. This is exciting. And it smells really good, let me tell you. So I'm just going to kind of lay this out on the racks here. Give them lots of space. I've got lots of real estate here, so I don't have to worry too much but I don't want them kind of overlapping or anything. And right now I've got the oven, it's preheating to about 200 Fahrenheit. Well, that looks great. I used two of the trays instead of the full three, so that's fine. Uh, I like this, um, you know, jerky rack just because it has a tray at the bottom to catch the drippings. Uh, you can, you know, put these on your oven racks, but you're going to need to have like an oven, like a pan to kind of catch the drippings um, when these are drying out. The way you can do this is in the dehydrator at 165 Fahrenheit for many hours until it's uh, basically dry, but kind of a little bit pliable, like it's not completely crispy. You don't want that. So, um, or in the smoker, that's another great way to, uh, to do this. So let's uh, get this in the oven. It's in the oven. I'm just gonna leave it open a crack, um, just to kind of let out any of the excess, um, humidity. I'll be checking it frequently, uh, over the next hour, hour and a half, um, just to get to that point where it's dry, but still pliable. That's what we want. So we'll let the oven work its magic. All right. So here we are, um, an hour and a half in and we're getting there. It's getting, uh, it's nice and firm. Um, still pretty you know pliable there i'm gonna go longer i'm gonna go half hour at a time just till i'm happy with the final result i like it a little bit crispier than this but oh boy it smells good and it's looking great i might flip some of these over too all right so we are about three three and a half hours in almost there and it's looking really good i think i'm basically gonna call this done um as you can see it's got a little bit of grease on there i like that it's gonna make it nice and tasty uh, you can also dry it a little bit longer if you don't like that um as you can see it cracks a little bit when i bend it um, but it's still nice and chewy you can hear a little bit of cracking up here uh, and also when you know it's done let's put 165 fahrenheit internal temperature and when you pull it apart you'll see some white strands in the meat and that's kind of what i'm talking about there kind of pulls apart let's give this a try all right let's give this a whirl it smells amazing Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow, is that ever good. Nice and chewy. Just done right. You don't want to overdo it. If it's too dry and crunchy, it's just not enjoyable at all. It's not like that true chewy jerky. Mmm. Five out of five. I love this recipe. Now for storage, um, you're going to want to keep this in the fridge or the freezer. I mean, I don't think this is going to last very long in this house, but um, just to be safe, you want to kind of keep it um, preserved um, so that it doesn't get um, you know, the, the fat in it doesn't go rancid and make you sick. 
All right, well, I highly encourage you to try this recipe uh, for when you're you know, camping this winter or spring. Uh, or, well, anytime you wanna go camping, this is a great protein snack, low in fat, and uh, just keeps you going on the trail. Well, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next video. Mm. Good stuff.